Remember the Processed World Volume 6 PDF that I downloaded from archive.org? This was a PDF that had a JPEG 2000 scans of the individual pages. And each page took about 11 or 12 seconds to render in Goodreader on the iPad 1. Now, Mike Kane has converted this PDF into another kind of PDF. I'm not quite sure what because he didn't tell me, but I'm sure he'll tell us on his blog. And I'd like to show you how fast it renders now in Goodreader. There's no timer here because no timer is needed. Um, this is a 50 megabyte file, and you can see that scrolling through it is almost instantaneous. Um, the pages come up completely clear. There doesn't seem to be any blurring until you zoom a little bit, um, and it takes about a second uh, to get a clear zoom when you zoom in on a page. But the quality of the PDF is very good. You can also zoom around very fast, going back and forth. And Goodreader lets you do something nice. I can actually open this PDF file, send it to iBooks. And this takes a little bit little while for it to show up. There it is. There it opens right where I was. And now you can see what it's like to scroll uh, in iBooks. Now I don't know if you can note it, if you can see this uh, on the video, but as I'm scrolling, iBooks is not rendering quite as cleanly as a good reader was because there's just a fraction of a second of blurriness um, before the image becomes clear. It takes a little bit longer to do the rendering on a zoom. I apologize for these problems uh, scrolling, but because I'm holding the camera in one hand and trying to look at what I'm filming and look at the screen, it's not necessarily easy. So the last thing I wanted to do was to jump around. Jumping around it takes a little bit slower, it seems to me. I don't have the timer, but um, I think I notice more uh, blurriness than when I'm simply scrolling, which is a little surprising because I'm not sure it's actually caching anything. Um, but there you are. So that's it.